Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I am Dave Thackeray, the guy who's good at the internet from DaveThackeray.com, digital master of digital marketing, superstar of all things pixelated. Okay, right. Well, today I am observing my favorite Monday morning hobby, which is scouring the web for cat videos. That's right. I love those furry felines. Gorgeous little things, aren't they? Bloody things. Anyway, so I want to create an RSS feed of all of the YouTube video channels containing cats in one place. Wouldn't that be great? <laughs> because the world is full of information, but your job as a content concierge is to curate the stuff so that you're providing an invaluable service to your customers. But how the heck do you do it? I've mentioned before how I use a combination of If This Then That, which lives at ifttt.com, and Evernote to provide me with content for my daily podcast, Digital Daily. But how do I go about promoting that podcast itself? And that answers the same question. How do I get all the cat videos in the same place? Well, whatever podcast player you use on your site or whatever way you want to express all of the RSS feeds that influence you in one place, you will need to have an RSS feed, not 10, not 100, not 1,000, just the one. And an RSS feed is an unstyled list of data about your shows. It is fundamentally a list with loads of tags in it. For me, I produce several shows. I do Digital Daily, I do Dave's Digital Delights, and I have several YouTube videos that I want to show the latest all the way back to the furthest away about digital marketing and technology. So to get all of those together, I need to create some sort of sexy mashup. And this would be impossible were it not for the awesome Yahoo Pipes. Now, to get your Yahoo Pipe, you need to create a Yahoo account. So if you go to pipes.yahoo.com, register for your Yahoo account, and then we're ready to play ball. You'll have something like what I'm showing you here on the screen, and you could create a pipe. But I'm going to show you how I created mine, and then we can figure out it as we go from there. So I've just clicked on my pipe, and I'm going to edit the source. And that takes me to this screen, and you'll see there are three elements involved here. There's fetch feed, and that brings all of the RSS feeds that you want to mash up into one. There's sort down here, which, cleverly enough, sorts things. And there's filter over here, which will take things away or put things in or do whatever. Things that you want to accept or include in the feed that you might otherwise not think about. So I'm going to show you the three ways to get these things in. The first thing is you need to get your fetch feed which is here in the sources drop down sort is in operators which is obviously here and filter is also in operators which is right above it filter there you go so put the three on there add your rss feeds sort by item pub date in descending order which gets the very latest stuff in all of the rss feeds listed chronologically so that when you're providing your ultimate rss feed mashed up that will be giving your readers or your listeners the latest data first and finally filter what i've used this for is i create a audio podcast that I also create as a video and I don't want both to appear in the feed I just want people to listen to it so what I've done in my title for YouTube I've used the hashtag DD and I've also told this that check out the item title and if it contains a hashtag of DD don't put it in this feed but leave all of the other YouTube videos intact so once I've done that, I drag out from each of these little holes here, these lines that connect everything together. So it's like a little flow chart. And ultimately what you're left with is this incredible result, this mashup. And let me show you how it works. You will save it and then you hit run pipe and it takes you back to where we started in the first place. It shows you the list of all these different bits. I've got podcasts, I've got videos, it's all in there. And then all I need to do where it says get as RSS, I right click that and I select copy link location and it puts it in something that looks like that. See there? Highlighted? That's what you need. And that's what you plug into whatever you want to use the RSS feed for. I've got to nip off now because Screener wants to boot me off 17 minutes away from a five-minute limit. This is Dave Thackeray, your digital marketing maestro. Anything else you want to know about? At Dave Thackeray on Twitter or he at DaveThackeray.com. Have a fantastic day and keep the passion flowing like water. Bye for now.